Well, it looks like the stalled effort to remove President Trump from office is about to get back on track this week. Fox News correspondent Doug Luzader has more from Washington. A Democrats in the House will meet about this tomorrow, and we expect them to move ahead with articles of impeachment, sending them over to the Senate. But among other things, this may create a massive time crunch. I've always said I would send them over, so there's, there shouldn't be any mystery to that. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi telegraphing her next punt. She meets with her fellow Democrats tomorrow. They are expected to sign off on sending articles of impeachment against President Trump to the Senate for a trial. On Twitter, the president called for an outright dismissal. But Democrats in the Senate, acting as jurors, are pushing for more. There's a key difference between trials and cover-ups. Trials have witnesses, cover-ups don't. The Democrats want to hear from more witnesses, including former National Security Advisor John Bolton. But so much depends on Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who has made his preference for a quick trial clear. And there are other complications. All of this could overshadow the next Democratic presidential debate tomorrow in Iowa. And candidates who are senators, including Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, would have to leave the campaign trail at a critical time to head back to the Senate, helping at least temporarily to clear the field for others. The Iowa caucus is on February 3rd. Bernie Sanders is in first place. And what this does is this benefits Joe Biden. This harms Senator Sanders, who, who is in first place and could become their nominee because he will be stuck in a chair because Nancy Pelosi held the papers different than what she said to the American public why she had to move so urgently. And this means that an impeachment trial could be underway as the president delivers his State of the Union address in just over three weeks. In Washington, Doug Luzader for Fox 16 News. Ashley, back to you.